So hello uh, everyone, good morning, good afternoon, and good day to all of you. So uh, it's another learning day today, and uh, we are going to learn about uh, informational text today. So we are at our third week of learning uh, in uh, English. So if you're excited with the topic, so let's get it on and uh, let's learn about informational text. I know that you are excited, I am too, so let's uh, start our learning adventure. So here we go. I forgot to share the screen. Share screen, of course. Then we are just going to make it uh, into a slideshow and we're ready to go. Okay, so uh, as I have mentioned earlier, you know, our lesson for today is all about informational text. What are these informational texts? What are the uh, kinds of uh, informational texts? And why do we need informational texts? Is it helpful to us? Uh, can we use it in our lives? Our daily uh, daily activities? Can we use informa uh, informational texts? Okay, now let's Okay, text and selections or text or selections have different purposes. Some intend to inform or educate while others aim to amuse or entertain. Uh, they are also there are also texts that are used to persuade. When we say, uh, when we talk about text, uh, kids normally you know, we talk about the uh, printed text no? the one that you can read uh, it could be on paper or poster or uh, it could be on video if we, uh, as long as it has uh, text or uh, uh, words on them okay uh, text are intended to be read now if you can uh, read text and analyze it very good then Okay, uh, then you'll know that text or selections have different purposes. Some texts are just there to uh, entertain you. Say, for example, you are going, if you are reading uh, jokes or uh, fairy tales, no? or uh, yeah, may fairy tale stories, or Bible stories, no? uh, or uh, magazines. Uh, anime books, no? those uh, kind of texts are there to provide entertainment, no? to uh, make us uh, laugh or cry or uh, make us excited. No? And then there are these uh, texts that are intended to educate uh, us, no? the people. Some of these texts are the posters about what we have today, no? the corona, virus. It could be an update on how many cases or it could be a uh, ways on how to prevent uh, the spread of the disease or it could be a, a policy, you know, a written policy for the people to follow if they are uh, inside the uh, restricted area you know, or the uh, health and safety protocols provided by the IATF. You know? Okay, so and then there's also texts that you are used to persuade, meaning uh, to persuade means to convince. No? Uh, this could be uh, found in some newspaper, uh, the editorial section, no? and some could also be found in uh, motivational books. Uh, it, when you are reading this kind of text, it tends to motivate you or to, uh, to convince you to do some action. Okay? So basically, there are three three types of text. One is uh, for entertainment purpose. Two, 
for the educational purpose and uh, three for persuasion uh, to persuade people. All right. Most of the materials that you may have encountered or read aim to educate or inform. Uh, those are the uh, commonly uh, read texts as, we, with, uh, as what we have doing uh, today and the previous years no, as you are reading your books. The books tends to inform you at the same time those books also could also provide entertainment. It could provide education and entertainment at the same time. So they are called informational texts. And these texts are used to present information, details, or facts about a particular subject or uh, subject matter, a particular topic or a uh, subject matter. Okay. Uh, as I had mentioned earlier, there are uh, books are also considered as informational text. Uh, it could give you facts about particular topics. Say, for example, the book is about math. It could give you facts about math, about mathematical concept, about mathematical practice. No? Say, for example, uh, fraction. No? You can read books about fraction. And, okay? So books is an, an informational text. No? And uh, another example are the uh, health magazines no? or health posters. No? They uh, discuss some particular topic, say, for example, the uh, spread of the disease. And the subject matter would be uh, on how does the virus is spread. So those are informational texts. And uh, informational texts are very helpful to us. No? It could, again, uh, aside from uh, entertaining us, it could provide us with knowledge. You know, it could educate us or inform us on what is currently happening in our environment today. Now, in this lesson, you are expected to identify and use the elements of an informational, factual, text, or and what you're hearing is the uh, grinder. No? Sorry, uh, someone's doing construction work. Okay, again, you are expected to identify and use the element of informational or factual text heard. No? So, meaning the uh, lesson would be uh, partially more on listening. So, as we go through the lesson, please uh, listen uh, properly or effectively. So I am going to read here a CAF selection or, or an informational text. Now I want you to listen and uh, you should follow our uh, set of guidelines in listening into an story. Now the first one is to remain quiet. Second is to focus on the story or to the reader. Uh, third is to note down details. Fourth, uh, be aware of the punctuation mark and uh, the fifth would be uh, put yourself in the story for you to be able to uh, analyze the story. Now the story or the passage or the informational text had the title Talabarson Truly Amazing. Okay. So I'm going to read the story uh, twice. No? The second time is the time for you to Note down the important details. Okay, Calabarzon, truly amazing. Calabarzon, also known as Southern Tagalog, is a term of population. It is composed of the five provinces such as Cavite, Laguna, Batangas, Rizal, and Quezon. It derived its name from the names of these five provinces. The famous Tagaytay City is located in Cavite. Batangas Province is the home of the most active volcanoes in the country, the Mount Taal. While Dr. Jose Rizal was born in Calamba, Laguna. Quezon Province is also known for its colorful paella 
festival. The province of Rizal is the place which gave birth to various national artists. Truly, Calabarzon is an amazing place to visit and explore. Okay. Again, no, for the second time, I'm going to read the selection. Calabarzon, truly amazing. Calabarzon, also known as Southern Tagalog, is considered as one of the most largest regions in the country in terms of population. It is composed of the five provinces, such as Cavite, Laguna, Batangas, Rizal, and Quezon. So, it derived its name from the names of these five provinces. The famous uh, Tagaytay is located in Cavite. Uh, Batangas is the province that is home to the one of the most active volcano in the country, which is Al Volcano. Dr. Serizal was born in Calamba, Laguna. Quezon is known for its colorful Payas festival. Province of Rizal is the place which gave birth to various national artists. Truly, Calabarzon is an amazing place to visit and explore. And did you uh, understand the story? Did you understand the selection? Are you able to take down notes about the important details in the selection? Okay. So, uh, again, I'm giving you time uh, to read the story by yourself. And uh, after that, we are going to move on with our uh, the answering of the question. Uh, the answering of the question about the selection. Okay, now, the, now that you are done reading the selection, let us move forward. Now here is an activity which, uh, which aims to uh, measure your knowledge about informational text. So this is performance task number one. Okay. So match the descriptions in column A with the items being discussed in column B, like the letters of your answers in your notebook. Again, this is not a uh, graded activity. Rather, it is an uh, activity on uh, diagnosing your knowledge about informational text. Okay? So, uh, answer it with the best of your knowledge. On column A, we have the following items. Number one, convinces a person to agree on a certain issue. Item number two, tells a problem and a possible solution to it. Item number three, show similarities and or differences between two or more items. Item number four, provides description of a person, place, things, topics, and etc. Number five, identifies the cause why something happen, happens or happened and it's possible to text. For the number six, Describe the order of things or events. For the choices on column B, we have A, sequence, B, cause and effect, letter C, description, letter D, comparison and contrast, letter E, problem and solution, and letter F, persuasion. Okay, I'll give you uh, two minutes to answer the uh, test item. Okay. So again, sorry for the uh, background noise. Uh, it couldn't help. Someone is doing a construction near the uh, near our house, no? near my house. So again, sorry for that. Okay, if you are done answering, now let us try to find out if your answers are correct. 
So number one, convince a uh, person to agree to a certain issue that is letter F, persuasion. You are persuading someone. Number two, tell us a problem and a possible solution to it. So that would be letter E. Problems and solution. Number three, show similarities and description between two or more items. So that would be comparison and contrast. We have already studied about that. Number four, provides description of a person, place, things, or a topic, and etc. So that would be description. Number five, identifies the cause why something happened or happened and it's possible solution. So that would be a uh, possible effect. So that would be letter B, cause and effect. Now, uh, number one, describe the orders of things. Now that would be a sequence. I hope you get all the correct answer and if not, there's nothing to be uh, worried about because again, this is just an uh, exercise to measure your previous knowledge on the topic. Now here, uh, here are the uh, lesson on informational text. Okay. Informational text, okay? Informational text presents factual details or information about a particular person, places, things, events, and topics. This text may also be written using varied purposes such as to inform, educate, and even persuade. So again, uh, Please remember that informational text is there is a factual detail or information. When we say, uh, when we uh, talk about the word factual, uh, it simply means that the information is based on facts, you know? it's based on evidence or uh, based on truth. No? When we say that, uh, it is factual. No? It is indeed came from the word fact, no? uh, which means true or uh, correct. No? And uh, now, uh, again, rewording that, no? informational uh, text presents uh, facts about or information about particular persons places, things, events, and topics. So it could be written, be, uh